Where's all my Uno players at? Where is all my Uno players at? This is Coach Walker. I want to know who wants to play some Uno because I know you can't handle me. I, I'm telling you right now, you ain't ready for me. I don't know about you, but whenever I played the game of Uno, it was always intense, especially when I came down to that last card. If it was a draw four or a wild card or, or a draw two or a reverse or a skip, I was just ready to put it on the table just in anybody's day. I'm sure many of you, you, you are just as good at playing Uno. Come see me. I'm ready. But I'm, I'm willing to bet you some of you 2020 graduates probably sat back and thought to yourselves, if coaches talked about Uno, how could that deal with, you know, what I went through my senior high school. And I know it got intense for a lot of you guys. That's why I use the game of Uno, because I'm sure a lot of you can kind of relate to that game because it's a fun game. You know, you sit down with your family and friends and have a good time and everybody, you know, they laughing and joking and, you know, win, lose or draw, everybody's still having a good time. But the million dollar question is, I know many of you were sweating bullets uh, this 2020 year, wondering how, thing, how how is your future gonna add up for you? based on your grades not being on point or you're not, you haven't passed the ACT or uh, SAT exam. And you're wondering if that college that you wanted to go to so bad was going to come through uh, with an offer wanting you to continue your Kalino you know, within their program. Like I said, guys, there's so many student athletes that graduated this year and was given that wow and that draw four. Yes, you was given those two cards. Um, and that wild and that draw, two, excuse me, that wild and that draw four actually position uh, you to obtain uh, that scholarship and position you to be uh, allowed to gain. Uh, uh, it allowed for you to be accepted into that college or university. And I'm pretty sure you may not have gotten into your top five, but you got into a college or university that's going to be beneficial to you as far as your future. But guys, you got to understand one thing the college requirements for you to be accepted into that college or university was relaxed for you this year. So the reason why I use the wild and the draw four uh, in this instance is because I want to know what exactly are you going to do with those two additional cards that was handed to you to turn the table so that you win, so that you win at the game of life. You do. You guys do know there is a game out there called Life with the little spinning wheel in the middle of it. I wonder if many of you have played that game as well. But hey, I'm just using Uno as as a basis for us to get an understanding of exactly what's going on, and you know, understand the direction that we're going. But hey, welcome back to Tomorrow's Leader Sports Network with your host, Coach Walker. And like I said, guys, this pandemic has been a blessing and a curse to many of you out there. But like I stated before in the beginning, if you remember the game of Uno and you had a wild or a draw four in your hand, you just knew it was lights out for your opponents. You knew that you're going to turn that table around and everything is going to work in your favor. Well, my question to you is, like I asked you before, how will you use that wild and that draw four to your advantage when it comes to your future to win the game? Let's be honest, guys, with one another when it comes to your grades. You may have been a little slack. Um, you didn't take things seriously. You weren't disciplined as you needed to be to get the necessary grades that you needed to get, as well as the test scores. And that's well understood. It may have been a little, little overwhelming for you uh, with everything that you may have had going on at that particular time. But guys, understand one thing. Life is always going to throw you a curveball. And as, as you go up the rungs on the ladder, life is going to continue to keep throwing you curveballs. But it's about how you manage each situation and this once the the biggest situation that you may be the biggest situation you may have may be based on your grades in in school guys if you're having any issues with your grade i pray that you sit down and if you have a problem if you have a problem with asking for help i pray i pray i pray you swallow your pride and ask for that help please don't allow yourself to sit on a sinking boat and allow yourself to just go down with the ship when you can actually step off the boat and get the help that you need. There's nothing wrong with asking for help. Please don't be afraid to go get to get some tutoring. There's nothing wrong with that. That doesn't make you any less smarter than the next person. You to go ask for it because student services, you pay for that. That is in your tuition. That is in your tuition based on if you need help, you go to the student services to get the necessary help you need. And I know many of you right now are going to be starting your college career remotely. 
So I have something for you that could basically help you with that as well to get the necessary help that you need. Hey, guys, like Coach Walker always said, I'm a strong advocate on making sure that I put you in the position that you need to be in for you to, for you to succeed. That's all that matters. Like I said, many of you I may know, many of you I may have never met before, but I want you to understand you have a strong cheerleader that's in your corner that's working and, and cheering for you to get over the top. Guys, you got to understand, things in this lifetime is going to be a little difficult, but you got to fight through it. So what I want you to do is I just want you to have all the necessary resources that's needed for you to be successful, for you to be successful. These resources are literally, literally at your fingertips to do the things that you need to do to be successful. So what I did was I actually got online and I looked up a, a few sites to see you know just how good these sites are and again they're not they're not paying me anything to speak on their behalf as far as with uh getting you guys to go ahead and take a look at any of this stuff but i figured it would be useful to you because of the fact that there's so much going on right now and a lot of times people don't know where to go or who to lean on for help so here's a few of the sites Here, here's a few sites that i found that are actually pretty good um, and they help with remote uh, tutorial. Also, there's some that are in the area for those of you that are able to get out and move a little more freely than some of us are around the country. Uh, they have uh, sites that are, you know, close to the location where you may be. So you want to check out all of these sites to see how they fit for you. The first one is universitytutor.com. Uh, the next one is onlinecolleges.org, which is the top 25 website for, on, for online tutoring. Uh, whplibrary.org, backtocollege.com, princetonreview.com. Guys, please take a look at these sites and see how they may be beneficial to you and what you need help with. Please don't sit around and just let time lapse because guess what? If it comes down to you wanting to go ahead and drop a class that's going to cost you especially if, especially if it's after the date in which they allow you to drop the class without a charge but remember one thing student athletes for those of you that are out there that are playing a sport you have to carry at least 12 credit hours if you drop below that 12 it's a strong possibility that you may be ineligible especially if you're trying to play a sport in the spring or they may push it to, excuse me, or they may force your hand where you're going to have to take additional credit hours in the spring just so that once you get out of the fall and the spring semester of your freshman year, you are on track to become a sophomore. Guys, you got to pay attention to these things because guess what? Now is the time, like I always said before, you're paying for what they have, okay? So I'm just saying, guys, I'm just giving you the information. As you see, coaches, coaches doing a little twist here with himself because if I'm not having fun, I don't like to do it. And I want you guys to, when you see the content that I deliver to you, you're enjoying yourself and you're having a good time because that's what people know me as, as a fun guy that like to have fun, but I still got my results. I got my results for my players because my players knew not to cross that line because they knew what time it was if they did. But as I always say, guys, if you like the content, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. Share this information. Hey, don't hold it to yourself. Share it out there. There's plenty of other people out there that need help just like you. I'm out here, man, extending my hand and letting you guys know, hey, I'm here for you. Understand, I am a true advocate to see all of you succeed. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. All right? Again, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Please share the information. Click that notification bell so that whenever new, any new content drop, you're the first ones to get it. Follow us on social media. The descriptions are listed below. Guys, always remember, be that one, be that one, and lead.